Hey you guys, I hope all is well. I just wanted to come on here. I just arrived home a few hours ago and I received this box. This is um, some of the contents of fragrances, body mist from Bath & Body Works that I purchased during the um, the recent uh, sale that they were doing uh, on the body mist. They were $5.95. So I went ahead and picked up some items. I pretty much picked up a lot of the new spring summer scents and um, I purchased doubles of each. So I'm just going to go in here very quickly and I'm just going to show you guys what I got. So let's start from this side and then I'll work my way uh, that way. Okay, so the first item that I um, want to uh, take a look at is this body mist here. This is called Tropidelic. The um the fragrance the uh, the bottle is very beautiful. The image of uh, this wrapping around the bottle is 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 very pretty. Um, the fragrance notes on here uh, I do apologize are um, just give me a second here. It's irresistible passion flower. And then there's Ylang Ylang and Misty Rain Forest. This is a very pretty um, scent. It really has like a perfume feel to it. Um, this smells like a very nice, clean um, coconut smell, if you will. It's very light. Um, for those of you who have been following my channel, I'm not that crazy about coconut scents. There are some fragrances in here, some body mists in here that do have... Um, like a light uh, coconut uh, feel to them. But um, this one is very pretty. I, I really enjoyed this one when I went to the store and I got an opportunity to smell it. It's, it's, really, it's really nice. It smells like my way, in my opinion. It has like um, the uh, fragrance scent notes of my way to me when it, when it settled. Uh, I did spray these a little bit earlier and I let them settle in the cap here. So um, that's why I'm not respraying them. But um, this has a very um, similar um, um, background to it, uh, a very similar um, uh, um, feel to it, like, like my way, in my opinion. So um, that's Chapadelic. This is, this is very nice. This is very nice. I'm getting the feeling as I'm smelling it that it's kind of like, like um, you know, supposed to be like a dupe for my way but let me know in the in the uh you know comments down below if you you know if you have uh, the same uh experience with this one if you if you've got an opportunity to smell it or purchase it but yeah this is uh tropidelic the bottle once again is just beautiful i think they did a really great job with the packaging on some of these but yeah so i was really looking forward to this one um, because I'm not really, like I said, I'm not really too big on coconut scents. I don't like when the coconut is too heavy, but, um, if you are like me and you're not too much, uh, into coconut scents, definitely check this one out. I think this is one that's going to be a, a major hit, um, for the, for the spring, spring, summertime. All right. So that's that. And then I just went ahead and picked up, you know, a backup bottle of it. So that's just, I have two. So that's just that. So then the next one that I went ahead and picked up was this one. This one is called Waikiki Beach Coconut. So yeah, so, you know, you know, it's funny that I mentioned coconut and I did tell you guys that there were other mists in here that have coconut in it. And this happens to be one, one of them, the other one. Um, this one is not new. This is a, um, a recurring one that, you know, Bath & Body Works usually brings back for the fall. I really like this one, the Waikiki um, Beach Coconut. I really like how it smells. Uh, let's just take a look at what the um, the notes are in here. So it's going to be um, tropical white coconut. And then there's, um, what is this here? There's salt water breezes. And then there's sun bleached woods. This is a very nice, again, a very nice take on coconut. 
it's not heavy on the uh, coconut uh, scent at all um, and you know I've had this one before in my collection and I didn't like it so let me know if you think this one has been reformulated I kind of feel like the coconut in this one has been toned down uh, unfortunately I don't have the old version of it with me right now because I you know I just got home and I just opened this box so I don't have the old version to compare but if you have the old uh, Waikiki coconut um, let me know if you think it's the same or if you think that, um, you know, the, the coconut has toned down a little bit, but this is also a very, very, very nice fragrance. Um, so I went ahead and picked this one up. I had tested some of these at my local, at one of the local Bath and Body Works near me and I didn't purchase them. And then when the $5.95 sale came up, you know, I was able to grab, you know, all of these and then I had the 20% off, um, uh, the, the uh, coupon there and there was also free shipping. So, I, I, you know, that was a, a really good deal. I hope a lot of you got an opportunity to take advantage of that deal. But yeah, that's how I was able to um, pick these up because I had already um, experienced them and, and I knew which ones I wanted. So when the sale came on, I just, you know, hurried and, and selected the ones that I, I wanted to get. And this is just, like I said, you know, I just bought backup bottles of each. So I have two of those. Then I went ahead and picked up this one. I think this is what, Pink pink Pineapple Sunrise. So this one also is not anything, is nothing new to Bath & Body Works. This is, you know, an old one. Um, so I did go ahead and pick that one up. Oops, I did go ahead and pick that one up. Um, I didn't smell that one in the store, but when I saw it online, I went ahead and um, purchased it. I have the wrong cap there. That cap doesn't have the uh, smell in it, the scent. I didn't spritz that one. This is the one I sprayed, so I'm smelling this one. And it's very pretty. It sort of has like a raspberry kind of like, like some kind of fruity floral note in it. So let me go ahead and take a look at what's in here. If my camera will focus, let me go ahead and see. So this one has the um, sweet pink pineapple it has palm sugar and it has sun drenched nectar so this one really is sweet it's not super it's not um it's not uh very very sweet i know that there are some of you who don't like to, um fragrances that come off as too sweet but it is it is sweet i definitely smell the um the i think it's sugar cane that is in here that it stated uh, yeah the palm sugar i definitely smell the uh, sugar um uh, influence in this particular fragrance but it's very nice it's very nice i really do and the nectar so this one is very pretty i think i have this one i have the old version so um the packaging of this one is very beautiful but i didn't remember if this is one that i had in my collection so i went ahead and picked it up but um now that i'm i'm kind of like remembering i think i have the old version of this in my in my collection but uh, at any rate i did go ahead and pick up two Two of these so that's gonna be the pink pineapple um, sunrise so that's that then I went ahead and picked up this one here this is the kiwi one um, this is Thailand sweet kiki and star fruit I'm not sure if this is new I don't remember you guys I do apologize I don't remember if this is a new one that has come out or if this one is one that came out a long time ago a while back um, but you, I certainly can smell the kiwi in this one. And um, this one is very, very fruity. I really like this one. This one has golden kiwi. It has juicy star fruit and solar woods. You definitely can smell uh, the kiwi influence in this one. This is one that is really, uh, the kiwi really does stand out. Um, and um, I really like this one. So, um I, I can't I'm looking forward to um to wearing this one. I can't I can't wait to wear this one. It's very fruity, but it's a nice it's a nice fruit uh smell. It's not uh, very sweet like the uh, pink pineapple sunrise. So for those of you who don't like too sweet, I think this would be a very good a very good take on something that you can wear during the summer spring summertime. Okay. So that's that. Then I went ahead and picked up this. This is the of Fiji's Sunshine Guava Teeny. This is, again, this is not a new one to uh, Bath & Body Works. This is one that they bring out each 
you know, they've been bringing out during the summertime, spring, spring, summertime, they get this, they bring this one back out. So this is Sunkissed Guava, Fresh Orange, and Seaside Jasmine. Okay, so this one is like an orange. It's not as um, tangy as Clem Calypso Clementine, um, but this one definitely has that um, that orange uh, base. Let me just pull this one out. This cap is just much easier to take out than the other one. So, yeah, this one is nice. This one reminds me of, I, uh, when I smell it in the cap here, it kind of reminds me a little bit of, of um, Island Margarita, you know, the candle um, from Bath & Body Works. That's what I get from this one. It's a very nice, juicy, uh, it's not too tangy, not too um, too much orange in it, not too citrusy. It's a very light citrus um, fragrance. I really like this one if you don't like too tangy of um of a fragrance um, on your skin. This, I, I really, really, really like this one. I, I like it because it's, it's, um, it's, it's nice. It's not too, it's not juicy like an orange, if you will. It's just the right take on, on citrus. So this one is one that I would highly, highly, highly recommend. I'm sure you guys are used to this one because like I said, this one is not new. This is just an oldie that they brought back. But you know, for me, I really like this one. I'm looking forward to wearing this one. That's that, and that's the backup. Then I went ahead and I picked up this one as well. This is the um, banana, the passion fruit banana flower. Let me just open this one. This one is very nice. This one is very nice as well. Some of these, like this one, is not is not, again. This one is not new to Bath and Body Works. The thing is, you guys, is when these came out like a few years ago, I didn't always, um, I bought some of these, but I didn't always end, end up wearing them during the summer because that's, I kind of like didn't like them. It took some time for them to grow on me. This one has passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower in it. So um, again, this is this one is like the Guavatini one. It's nothing new. It's one of the staples that Bath and Body Works usually brings out like during the... Um, you know, for the spring and, and, and the summertime. So this one also is a very pretty, pretty one. Um, these are very pretty. These are ones that you can wear like late at night. You know, if you're going to the park, you know, late at night, you know, summer nights, spring nights, uh, especially summer nights tend to be very hot and everything like that. And you don't, you know, um, I'm not one who normally goes to bed after showering with a perfume. But if you want to wear something light before you go to bed, these are some that, you you know, you can really choose from that are light and airy and they won't, um, they won't disturb you. And, you know, if you, if you have a partner, if you, you know, they won't disturb uh, your partner because they're they're very they they appear to to be the type of fragrances that will settle very nicely on your skin uh you know during hot hot uh, temperature uh times so yeah this is a very uh, good one as well then we have this one tutti fruity candy this one is not new um, this is also one, I think, if I remember correctly, that comes out during like the Easter time that we're, you know, progressing towards this one here. Um, this is not the cap that I sprayed. So let me just move that one over. Try to leave this one. It, let me just smell this one. Yeah, this one smells like, um, candy. It smells like a, like a, an iced tea, if you will. It's not like, um, honey sugared iced tea or something like that, honeysuckle iced tea. It's not like that. It's not like that at all. But it does have like an iced tea feel to it, but a light version of it. Let me see what it has in it. Sweet jelly beans, or maybe it's the jelly beans I'm, I'm thinking about, the mixed berries and the sugared lemon. Yeah. This one definitely encompasses all those um, notes that are stated here. But it's done, it, it's sweet, but it's it's not too sweet. Um, you know, I definitely can smell a, a hint of the lemon, the mixed berries. So this one is, is fruity, but it's like a sweet fruity, um, you know, feel, you know, it's, 
it's nice. It's sweet, but it's not it's not sickly sweet. Yeah, that's what I mean to say. It's not sickly sweet. Um, but um, yeah, this is this is one that also comes tends to come back around that Easter time. You can look at the bottle. The packaging is beautiful. There's bunnies on it because it normally comes out around this time. You know, the Easter time. Yeah. So um, this one is a very good one, and I do have the old packaging of this one from last year. And last but not least, I have this one here. This is the uh, Rio Pineapple Mango. Let me just smell this one. Yeah. This one is um, my least favorite. It's got a very um, prominent mango note in it. Very prominent mango note. It's And also the pineapple. Fresh pineapple juice, mango, vine ripen, raspberry. I don't smell the raspberry in this one too much, if, if at all. But the pineapple is definitely very enhanced and pronounced in this one, as well as the mango. I would even say that the pineapple sort of overshadows the mango in this one. So if you like pineapple, um, you know, this is one that would... You know, you can definitely try. I, I think out of all of them, this is certainly one that's going to grow on me a little bit more. I do enjoy the Peak Pineapple Sunrise. I really like that one. I, I'm, um, you know, I'm not bothered by the pineapple in that one. But this one, the pineapple note is, is um, very pronounced. So I'm going to, um, you know, wear this one and see how I like it. Because I was considering uh, returning it when I first smelled it, when I, when I opened the box initially. Because mm, I don't know how I feel about the pineapple note in this one. But I'm going to, you know, play around with it a little bit and see, you know, how it, how it fares on my skin. But yeah, these are all my fragrances. And just pretty much backups that I have of everything. Um, and then I have a small one here. I have this one. This one is called uh, Daffodil Daydreams. It's nothing special. And these minis never have the um, fragrance notes in the back. So I'm not even going to bother. Because the fragrance notes are not on here. But um, yeah, this one is just, it's just, you know. Um, I bought it because I've never heard of this, you know. Uh, fragrance before. I think this one is new and um, I'm not really that crazy about it. It's nothing special or anything. Um, I just wanted to try it and I, I didn't see the big bottle so I purchased the mini uh, just to see um, what it smells like. It, it seems like it has a, a, like a, like a, a, a light chocolate mint uh, feel to it. So um, yeah, just um, something, you know, to, to try. Um, but you know, overall, I don't think that I would get the big bottle of this one. I'm not really crazy about it, but at any rate, yeah, you know, I thought I'd just go ahead and show you guys what I got. Um, like I said, I'm crazy about the Tropodelic. I think this is just a beautiful, beautiful, um, scent. Bath and Body Works really did a great job on this one. You know, they're all very, um, very good. They're all, you know, um, you know, um, brought backs from, from, from summers, some springs of yore. So some of these are not new, but, um, you know, uh, this one is, is, is really fantastic. I would definitely recommend this one as well as some of the other ones that I mentioned. This one, the kiwi, the guavatini, um, as well as the banana flower. Um, this one is very pretty. Like I said, the one that's my least favorite is this so I'll let it grow on me a little bit. And then we have the Pink Pineapple Sunrise, um, which, you know, you guys know about. And a lot of people rave about this one. And then I have the um, the Kiwi one. This is a very nice um, Waikiki Beach Coconut. coconut. I'm sorry. Um, the Kiwi one is this one, which is very good. But um, this is the Waikiki Beach Coconut. And, you know, this one is very nice has a very nice take on the coconut as well so so yeah um you know um i hope you guys got an opportunity to take advantage of the sale if you didn't worry not you know bath and body works are always doing these recurrent sales with the body mist i didn't pick up any lotions or any body creams um just trying to hold off a little bit because i, I have too much stuff as as it may but um i thought i'd go ahead and share with you guys the contents of this box so yeah Hope all is well. Hope all of you guys are doing well. And I just want to thank you for joining me and being part of my channel. Thank you so much for all your support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.